and a cast iron. Look, I am now. I have a tendency of letting stuff stick. Um, I don't know how to fix that issue. So that's why I'm like stirring it because I don't want it to stick. And if you have any suggestions on how to get a cast iron not to stick, I mean, it's, it's seasoned very well. Um, I just don't know how to... Like, sometimes when I cook eggs, it'll stick to the bottom. So this time, I put a whole lot of butter in it. Um, and normally I don't like putting a whole lot of butter in it. I, so, it seems to be doing, still doing pretty good, but I just don't want it to burn. I don't really want to do a whole lot of work this morning. I cooked eggs yesterday morning, and the non-stick pan that I was using was it actually burnt to the bottom of it and I don't I don't know but I gotta start using this because my husband said he was gonna buy me a um what's wrong baby oh I don't know I don't know much yet can we can we, um me I help you with that later on but I don't want it to um, sit there and... He said he would buy me a set of cast irons. But, I mean, I have two cast iron skills. I don't know what other pans I can use. Um, I want stainless steel, but um, I still run the chance of stuff sticking to it. But I like stainless steel. And I like cast iron. Um, Here lately, I've just been on this like little journey of learning new things. Well, in, basically in the past year, that other non-stick pots, I bought two Christmases ago from, um, I'll show you, from Pioneer Woman, and that's what the, hopefully you can see, but you see all the dings and everything in it, and the scrapes, and and just from watching other YouTube channels, I've learned that these non-stick pans, it puts chemicals in your body. Um, it, like, it has that non-stick coating. And I don't want that non-stick coating anymore. So, I don't know. If I can start cooking on these... I ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> but now if y'all bust out and say there's something wrong with cooking in a crock pot, we got an issue because I love cooking in a crock pot. Now stick around to the end of this video. We're gonna um I am gonna cook. I'm gonna show y'all how to cook pulled pork in a crock pot. <coughs> and it is frozen. It's okay. Because it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning. It'll be done by supper time. Alright, so we're fixing to eat some, eat some um, breakfast and then I will get started on the pork. Girls, let's eat! Hey, like I was saying, this is what happened. I don't know why and I, and I see... Everyone's cooking after they and after they clean the pan out, and this is the problem that we're having, and it's, it's sticking. And I do not know why. Um, so, if y'all know why it's sticking or or any suggestions that will help me, that would be great. Okay, that would be wonderful. Please leave a comment and tell me what am I doing wrong with this cast iron. Okay, so we're going to move on. Like I was saying, I have. I, I said I was going to do pulled pork. Okay, I probably won't eat it, but the kids will, Levi will, and Stephen will. Um, I got to finish up the meat that's in the freezer before I go and buy more meat. So, um, and this is what's been in there for a while. So we're going to take that and we're going to stick that down there. 
I need to get my crock pot out. Okay, so I got my crock pot. I'm gonna plug it in. Alright. Take my pork roast. And I'm just going to stick it in there. That's all I'm going to do. I need to turn this on high. I need to get my apple cider vinegar and water. And um, So hang on one second. Let me get my stuff and I'll tell you exactly how much I use. Okay. So the only thing I have is this big gallon of apple cider vinegar. I ran out of organic apple cider vinegar, but is which way apple cider vinegar is still good for you. That is in the trash. Now, what I put in this from the get-go, okay, is two cups of water. Okay, so I got my two cups of water. I'm pouring two cups of water in there. Alright, and now I need a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. The longer this sit, the longer that you the, your apple cider vinegar cooks with your meat, the more it will fall apart. I had that problem when I first started cooking um, pulled pork roast. I did not. So I got my apple cider vinegar. The problem that I had, the reason why I started using apple cider vinegar, is because when I would just cook it in water, it would still be stuck together. Um, I would have a hard time, I would have to take it out of the pot, and I would have to, um, I would have a hard time for it, of it falling apart and all that stuff. No. And then, so, I started putting vinegar in there, and then it, it started doing a little bit better. But I like the taste of apple cider vinegar in, in it, because it, it flavors it. So, we're going to put a half a cup of apple cider vinegar in it. Now, I'm just going to let this sit here and let this soak. It does not look like there's a whole bunch of fat on this, and I'm so thankful. I might be, if there's not a whole lot of fat on it, then I might be able to eat it. But, other than that, I don't know. I won't know until it's done. So, I got, I'm going to let that sit in the crock pot on high for four hours. Alright. And then, we will... Check back with y'all and all right, guys. Well, so it's been two hours. I'm gonna take this roast and I'm gonna flip it over, and we're gonna let it cook for the other two hours. I mean, is this not it's Chris, it's, it's, That's what Courtney says stuff is for. Stabbing meat. Ouch. Well, don't do that. I can't use it. So. Let's get another fork. That's gonna come off of it. We'll do that later. Alright, so we're gonna let that cook for two more hours. I'll show y'all what it looks like. Ooh. So we're gonna let it cook for two more hours on that side. And technically, we're gonna go and put some garlic and onion powder on this side so it'll soak into that fat and flavor the meat. Alright, so. There's some onion powder. Can I have a, can I have a uh, pencil or something? Yeah, girls, get your daddy a pencil! pencil. 
sprinkle that on top of there, right on top of the fat. Hurry up, now! Don't break my pencil. some onion powder on there. That's gonna go for two more hours on high. <laughs> hey daddy, what you doing? Fixing a drawer. The drawer has messed up big time. I'm trying to fix it. Oh. I've got a You might be better off putting go and put the screws in there. Well, I need you to hold it. If you can, I need you to hold the situation. Really, I need it's like a two-person job. I have to hold it in the right spot. Thinking it's just ain't it's not wanting to work well with that other wood. That's why I thought bigger was going to have it. That other two did good.
that the only problem you got with that spot or the whole thing? <laughs> it's always in the front. The front is always stopping. What's the matter, little Levi? Go try it in the door. See, see if that's all you need on it. I don't know. Well, you ain't really going to know until you look at it. I got another. What's the matter, little guy? Come Alright, 
like I said, as you can see, it's falling apart. There's pieces already falling off of it. But all this, so as you can see, all this right here is yeah. fat. So we're going to take all this fat and we're just going to scrape it right on off. Alright. I don't care for that fat. I mean, it ain't really going to bother anybody, but... Mama can't have it. Yeah, Mama can't have all that fat. And this smells good. Too good to pass up. So <coughs> now, we ain't got nothing but meat. <sighs> oh. See how easy this is right here? Uh, what I'm doing is just scraping and it's just pulling it off. Daddy, can you um can you come get this hot crock pot? Never mind, you oh, mess with this. I know. Before. Don't overtake it because um I, there is apple cider vinegar in this right here. Blow your nose. Blow. Go. Blow. Can you do it? Blow. Blow. Blow your nose. Can you blow your nose yet? Come on. Blow your nose. No. No. Blow your nose. We only used four wipes. It's fine. Y'all got it cleaned up though? Yeah, yeah the top's not really clean, but it's clean enough. Okay, well I'll clean the top. I have no problem cleaning the top, but it's the feet. The bottom of the blue legs clean? Yep. Yes. <coughs> Very, very easy. 
Very easy. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to dump it in here. Dump it back into the crock pot. I got my barbecue sauce. Now, Sheila's barbecue sauce, they say it's the best in the South, in South Carolina, but I don't, I don't, I don't think so, but it's the only, it's the only mustard based sauce that the um, grocery store had. Maybe only been to Chili's two times. But anyways, here, let's pour it in here. And this is a 16 ounce jar. They're probably going to wind up using all of it. Just because we're not eating it right away, but if you're eating right away, you wouldn't want to use all that sauce. But we're not eating it right away, so I want to make sure it stays kind of moist. Because the longer it sits in this crock pot, on keep warm, the more dehydrated it's going to get. Yeah, plug it in for me, babe. Because, yeah, this pan this thing's still pretty hot. I know. Alright, and we finish it out. Yeah. And, we're ready to eat. It's just simple and easy. Yeah. Where do you want the butter at, huh? But we're not eating right yet. Um, butter in the, in the fridge. Can I see what the yummy thing looks like? Yeah. Yeah, I got this one. Oh, I know. It's good. But you add a little bit of sauce. You only add like this much of sauce, mommy. Because that's like... Can I taste? Can I taste? No. What are you doing? Put it on the thing down there. Yeah. Um, this can go out to the dogs. The fat and stuff, I don't want it. Whatever you want. Yeah, because it is Friday, isn't it? Isn't Mother's Day on Sunday? It's Mother's Day weekend. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna yeah, enjoy it. Is that three, is that three days or two and a half days of, of getting getting what you want, or is it? Uh, it's Friday or, afternoon or just, when you or, get off work just, just till Sunday. Sunday when you go to work. That's how it works. Monday on Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. Sunday.